Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, bienvenue au PMIA Sommet de Montréal, 
Welcome to the GPay Montreal Summit. Et maintenant, veuillez accueillir. Please welcome the Honorable Navdine Baines, Minister of Innovation, Science and Industry, and Madame Nadine Giraud, Ministre des Relations Internationales et de la Francophonie. Bonjour tout le monde. Au nom du gouvernement du Canada, je vous souhaite la bienvenue à la première séance plénière du partenariat mondial sur l'intelligence artificielle. AI represents one of the most impactful transformative technologies in the world today. The work stemming from this event will be instrumental in shaping the approach to adopting and governing this technology in a responsible manner. I firmly believe that in order for these changes to achieve maximum global benefit, AI innovation and growth need to be harnessed by the values of human rights, inclusion, and diversity. Now, these are cherished Canadian values. They're not uniquely ours. They're values held in common by this community of like-minded partners who have come together to help shape a global AI ecosystem our citizens can trust. I understand that we've convened over 200 leading AI experts in the summit, together with GPA government representatives and stakeholders. C'était tout d'abord un projet bilatéral entre le Canada et la France. Je suis fier de dire que c'est aujourd'hui une véritable initiative multilatérale. Realizing the full potential of AI by creating benefits for all citizens requires international collaboration and coordination. To that end, Canada is honored to accept the responsibility of being the first chair of the GPA Council. Canada has long recognized strengths in AI to support our leadership this year. Our AI knowledge is far reaching and our talent pool is deep. C'est vrai à Montréal et dans les autres grappes à travers le pays, y compris à Toronto, Waterloo, Edmonton et Vancouver. The Economist a récemment classé le Canada parmi les cinq principales économies prêtes à adopter l'intelligence artificielle et la capacité d'innovation des centres de DIA du Canada y est pour quelque chose. Bien sûr, le leadership du Canada en matière d'IA n'est pas arrivé par accident. It is a result of strong contributions by industry combined with smart policy and programming from the federal and provincial governments. For example, in 2017, the Government of Canada proudly introduced a national AI strategy. The first of its kind in the world, the strategy put Canada on the map for AI by helping establish three major centers for AI in Montreal, Edmonton, and Toronto, and by attracting and retaining leading researchers in the field. Le gouvernement du Canada a aussi investi 230 millions de dollars dans la super grave d'innovation Scale AI basée à Montréal. And we're supporting basic and applied research in AI at schools and institutions across the country. Now, at the beginning of my remarks, I spoke about values, innovation and economic development, but also human rights, inclusion and diversity. As Canadians, we always seek to balance economic and social imperatives. It's why the Government of Canada is also coordinating programs and policies to ensure AI is safe and acceptable for society. And why we are honoring the principles of our digital charter by recently tabling the Consumer Privacy Protection Act, CPPA. The CPPA will include fines amongst the highest in the world for privacy law. And companies not complying could be subject to significant fines. Under the proposed legislation, Canadians will have more control and greater transparency regarding how personal information is handled by companies, have the freedom to move their information from one organization to another, and will be able to ask to have their information destroyed. The Act will strengthen trust by ensuring that our citizens have world-leading privacy and data protection, including through new transparency requirements that apply to automated decision-making systems like algorithms and AI.
Indeed, transparency is a key part of the OECD AI principles, which Canada helped shape and which rest at the heart of GPAY. We do all this because we know that if we don't support the transformation AI promises to bring in transparent, inclusive, and collaborative ways, the public trust will not be there to support the adoption of beneficial and potentially life-changing applications. Public trust is essential for the uptake of AI across our societies and key to competitiveness in the digital age. Bien que ne je puisse vous accueillir en personne à Montréal, le Canada souhaite à la plus cordiale des bienvenues à tous ceux et celles qui participeront aujourd'hui et demain. Laissez-moi vous dire encore que le Canada est grandement honoré d'être le premier président du Conseil du Partenariat Mondial. Canada intends to use this period to help shape a global AI ecosystem that enables responsible and trustworthy innovation anchored in public trust and key objectives such as fostering diversity across the AI domain. Nous avons hâte de travailler avec chacune d'entre vous pour atteindre ces objectifs. Merci. Mesdames et Messieurs les ministres, distingués invités, bonjour. Je suis heureuse de souligner avec vous la première assemblée plénière du Partenariat mondial sur l'intelligence artificielle, résultat de plusieurs années de travail et de collaboration fructueuse entre les meilleurs experts internationaux du domaine. En mars 2018, le gouvernement du Québec annonçait l'octroi de 5 millions de dollars pour favoriser la création ou l'attraction d'une organisation internationale de l'intelligence artificielle à Montréal. Cette idée a trouvé écho, notamment dans les travaux du G7 et des présidences respectives du Canada et de la France, en collaboration avec plusieurs partenaires internationaux. I recall the active role played by the government of Quebec within the Canadian delegation of the GPAI as a result of a memorandum of understanding signed on April 9th 2020. This MOU is the culmination of a successful collaboration between the government in Quebec and the government of Canada. It reflects Quebec's desire to be a major player in the development of AI. Quebec's artificial intelligence ecosystem is one of the richest, most efficient and recognized in the world. Our metropolis has been chosen to host one of the two GPAI centers of expertise, and it is a great honor that reflects Montreal's and Quebec's worldwide re reputation and recognition in the field of AI. Since 2016, the government of Quebec has also invested more than 475 million, namely in research and innovation to support the development of Quebec's artificial intelligence ecosystem. Dans le dernier budget, notre gouvernement a annoncé plusieurs mesures totalisant 329 millions de dollars sur cinq ans pour accélérer l'adoption de l'intelligence artificielle au Québec par des mesures concrètes telles que l'élargissement de l'offre de formation en intelligence artificielle afin que les entreprises puissent avoir accès à une main-d'oeuvre qualifiée, l'attraction au Québec des meilleurs chercheurs dans le domaine et le soutien pour la conception ou l'intégration d'applications de l'intelligence artificielle en entreprise. En terminant, il y a maintenant un an, j'annonçais le, lan le lancement de la vision internationale du Québec, dont deux piliers importants visent à augmenter la présence d'organisations internationales au Québec et à propulser l'innovation québécoise sur les marchés internationaux. Je me réjouis en ce sens, du leadership exercé par le Centre d'expertise internationale de Montréal pour l'avancement de l'intelligence artificielle, le CEI-MIA, et de son directeur, M. Jacques Rajotte, qui assure la coordination de la plénière historique d'aujourd'hui. Je vous remercie et vous souhaite à tous de très bons échanges. Mesdames et messieurs, 
Ladies and gentlemen, veuillez accueillir. Please welcome Jacques Rajot. Welcome to Montreal and to the GP Montreal Summit 2020. As the executive director of the CEMIA, the Montreal Center of Expertise, I'm delighted to be your host. I'm speaking to you from the GP Summit studio in Montreal, which will be my home and your home for the next two days. Today we are welcoming GP expert, guest expert, member state representative, and special guests. We have nearly 500 participants registered for the summit. Over the last five months, I had the privilege to witness the depth and the diversity of expertise of the GP community of experts. I also witnessed the level of commitment and involvement of many of you working tirelessly and passionately to meet the short deadlines. Now it's time to share the result of such dedicated work and to pave the road ahead that will lead to the responsible adoption of AI that will benefit all. We have an amazing program for you. The summit is built on four pillars. The, four, the first pillar is the governance pillar. It includes the council meeting, the steering committee, and the plenary. All these are first for, in the history of GPA. The working group session pillar, which is the second, um, will bring experts that will share with you their initial findings and uh, recommendation, as well as the focus of their work for the coming months. The third pillar is the GP Plus pillar under the, term, the, um, sorry, under the theme of AI in action, during which we will explore projects that aim at promoting responsible development of AI. The first panel will be on AI and education, exploring both the need to adapt the courses of higher education to include ethics, as well as the broader access to AI-related education for lower income communities in developing countries. A second panel on the Lacuna Fund that highlights the importance of, of relevant and labeled data for social innovation in developing countries. Finally, a third panel on the use of AI to eradicate modern slavery. The fourth panel of the summit is called the Brand Dates. These are opportunities for you to interact with your peers on the personal basis or in small groups to discuss a topic of interest or simply to share a personal passion. This is meant to substitute the corridor discussion that usually will take place at conferences. You can either join one or create one. Treat yourself with as many brand dates as you want. Montreal being a city where arts prevail, we could not help to include artistic content. We will share a clip of AI musical installation and witness a live discussion between artists using AI. Don't miss that. A few tips to fully enjoy the GP Montreal Summit 2020. First, stay connected at all times to the platform since you will be receiving notification that will help you navigate your schedule. Second, take advantage of the brand days to enhance your experience. Third, share your comments through the feed. Before we kick off the summit, I would like to thank my colleagues from the GPA Secretariat, as well as the Paris Center for their amazing collaboration. A special thanks also to my colleagues at the CEMIA for their dedication over the last few months, with a special mention for Mathieu Marcotte, the leader of this event. Hats off to C2 International team, our event partner. Finally, I would like to thank the Government of Canada and the Government of Quebec for their financial support, which makes this event possible. I wish you all a productive and memorable GP Montreal Summit 2020. Let the summit start. Mesdames et messieurs, ladies and gentlemen, veuillez accueillir, please welcome Jenny Tennyson and Maya Bogada Jansik. Mais d'abord, voici votre hôte. But first, here is your host, Ez Bridgman. Hello, and welcome to the report, an interactive session for the Data Governance Working Group. They are seeking to collate evidence, shape research, undertake applied AI projects, and provide expertise on data governance to promote 
data for AI being collected, used, shared, archived, and, delete, and deleted in ways that are consistent with human rights, inclusion, diversity, innovation, economic growth, and societal benefit in congruence with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. We are joined today by the co-chairs of the working group, Jenny Tennyson and Maya Bogota Jancic. Welcome, both of you. <laughs> Our first question I have for you is, how does the work that you are doing in the Data Governance Working Group connect with GPAY's larger mission? Hmm. Well, data is at the at the heart of AI. Um, you know, we, we need uh, data in order to create um, AI that is going to be useful for addressing the goals that we have as a society. Um, and so we need to make sure that that data is is well governed. And, and for us, then governance means um, both making it as open as it should be and, and closing it down sometimes and not using data when it's not appropriate to do so. Um, so we see the data governance uh, working group and the, the work that we do is really foundational for the rest of the uh, of GPI. Lovely. How about yourself, Maya? Uh, well, um, it's obvious that um, um, Governance, data governance is going to be fundamental uh, focus also of all other uh, working. So we are going to provide uh, probably um, um, expertise to the work of uh, other working groups and also uh, work on the projects that we are going to uh, develop.